Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to implement the select to searchable drop down list plugin in C sharp.net. Let's see here we got red, blue, green, white. If I type blue, see blue here, white. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in c first we will check the table in PostgreSQL database. The table is a color table which contains two columns ID and color name. My aim is I want to implement the select to jQuery plugin to the drop down list control in c -sharp so let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new web application. Click next. Let's give the project name is select to drop down list search world is my application name and I want to save the project in D drive subfolder. And the data framework I'm using 4.7.2. Out of that, click, click create. Then, next step select the web forms template, click create button. And here the application is closes. And here the application is created successfully. Let me close this default window. First, we'll add our the PostgreSQL DLL library to our project references folder. In the project, there is a references folder. I click the mouse, go to manage Nugget packages, go to browse and search for npgsql. And from the search results, I'm selecting the first option, click install. Click OK. And notice we got here the download button showing green color which means this package the DLL library is installed successfully in our project references folder let me expand this references folder scroll down so here the npg sql dll library is installed successful after that the next step first let's close this nugget package window we'll create one web form page to our project select the Project name, right click the mouse, add new item. I'm selecting web templates from the Visual C Shop. Then I'm selecting web form. Let's give the web form name is I'm giving index.aspx page. Click add. And here we got our index.aspx source page. Now in this form in between form and do tag, I'm adding a center tag. Inside the center tag, I'm adding the headings H1, how to, how to implement select to jQuery plugin to drop down list. So drop down list H3 C sharp dot net tutorials. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I'm adding one simple drop down list server element. Open toolbox. In the standard folder, there is a uh, drop down list control. See here? It's a standard drop down list control. That's it. Up to now, we have just finished the designing part. Now, right click the mouse, click view core. And here we got the code behind. Uh, now in the code behind, first let's add the package which we have installed. Then we require the system.data because we are dealing with the database. After that, let's add npg SQL connection class con is equals to new npg sql connection 
class and this class takes a string parameter now between these double quotes I am adding my postgres SQL database connection string so the first parameter I'm adding the server is equals to so let's find out the server name of the postgres SQL database notice the postgres SQL 12 the root folder select that one right click the mouse go to properties in the pop-up window notice the second option is a connection tab click that one here you can find the connection string properties like host name port usernames the host name is nothing but our server name so copy that local host and paste the server next we require the port number also the port number is this one 5432 add that one also now we require the database is equals to the database the table I have created in the Charon database so let's add the database name Charon and user ID is equals to the user ID is the Postgres copy that one and paste here again semicolon the last one is a password is equals to password one two three that's it let's add the semicolon here that's it let's close the connection string let's open the connection string with the open method after that let's add npg sql a command command com is equals to new npg sql command let's add the command properties com dot connection is equals to con object the connection object i have added next com dot command type is equals to the command type dot text com dot command text command text this one is a command text is equals to the command text is a select statement so select start from the table name here the table name is first let's close this window is a color the table name is a color paste here after that let's add ng npg sql data adapter da is equals to npg sql data adapter and this adapter i'm adding com object then let's add the data set ds is equals to new data set data set da dot fill method i'm filling the data set in the da next uh, this one let's see here it's a new because we have creating the object and now let's add the drop down list one dot data source is equals to now the data source the data source we are getting from this data set so ds is it ds dot tables in this tables i'm adding the index is zero because we are using the tables only one table so the index value is zero drop down list one dot uh, data data text field is equals to the text field is we need to add this column name which is a color name color name semicolon drop down list one dot data value field is equal to the value is the id is id semicolon then let's bind the data drop down list one dot data bind method that's it now let's uh, increase the designing part this drop down list let's make it a little bigger now before adding the select jquery plugin functionality to this drop down list first we'll check the colors are displaying or not in this drop down list let's run this browser
and see here we got the output the header tags after that horizontal line of below the horizontal line we have a drop down list control and the records are displaying from the postgresql database the color names that blue green white see that blue green white now let's implement the jquery plugin to this drop down list so when we are implementing the jquery functionality first we require the latest jquery cdn link so grab that one first latest jquery cdn google from the search results i'm selecting the first option hosted libraries here you can find the latest jquery cdn snippet uh, the version is 3.5.1 let's copy that one and paste the switch to the source mode between header and the title tags i'm adding that jquery cdn link after that i can switch over to the browser now this time i'm adding the select to jquery cdn enter and from the search results i'm selecting the cdnjs.com select to and here we got the select to jquery files come to the bottom here you can find different versions of this select to come to the bottom and notice here the last one let's copy that one copy script tag switch to the uh, source page and the script here now we require the css script also switch back again to the browser go to top notice the css tab click that one here you can find the css link just copy that link tag again switch back to the a source mode paste here that's it now let's add the script tag inside the script dollar document dot ready function now here i'm adding dollar i want to apply now here the dollar i want to apply the select to plugin functionality to this drop down list so i'm adding the drop down list id between double quotes let's add the hash dot select to semicolon that's it we have done the complete coding part let's stop this browser now let's run this app again and see here we got red blue green white if i type blue see so blue here white that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to implement the select jquery plugin to the asp.net c sharp drop down list control